where are you off to? I don't know where I'm off to. I have no direction. I'm just angrily and painfully wandering the town because I don't want to be anywhere where he is. Where is he? I don't know. I have no idea. Fancy a drink then? I would like that. I could use that. Mm hmm. You can see. Shouldn't be walking around anywhere. Make the scarring worse. Already there. In Gradia, they used to rub salt into it afterwards. Is that a thing? How does yep. that work exactly? Well. It's to help keep it clean and to make it hurt more. Why would you want it to hurt more? Well, if they didn't do it, the people that flogged them did. Oh, I see. All right. Ale? Makes sense. Please. Strong, preferably. Two of your strongest ale, please. <sighs> I'm on it. I appreciate it. Are you pouring a drink or getting sucked off? Listen here, motherfucker. I'm parched. I have not drank any water all day. <laughs> yes. Hey. Are you giving the bar? Are you giving the bar workers sass again? No. He's actually giving me sass. That's up. What I heard was strange sucking noises, and I am making assumptions from here. <laughs> there you go. And here's a, here's a little tip for yourself. For the, uh, entertainment. I'll be back down in a moment. I just need to have something transcribed. Right. Ta -da. Thank you. I've been thanked. <clears throat> Would you like anything to eat as well? Um, yeah, something small would be great, actually. I haven't eaten today. That'd be wonderful. Have fish, so that's small. I haven't either, actually, now that you mentioned it. The morning feels so far away. You know, this morning so we were plotting wonderful? on how to rescue you all. I suppose I should explain what happened. Awen and huh? I went on a little... Yes, I'd love to know. Awen and I went on a little expedition where we... Scoped out of the castle, or whatever it is. But, uh, didn't know how exactly we would be able to get in and get out a few guys Sorry. safely. <sighs> However, before we even finished planning, you guys arrived in town. It was hey, uh, thank you. insane, to say the least. How did that happen, and how did that go? What all happened in there, after you guys were taken? Not a problem. Well... Also... I said I would kick your ass for Hello, going Xavier. out there and getting yourself kidnapped after already being hurt. Sarah was so, in trouble. As soon as my back feels better, I will kick your ass. Sarah was in trouble. I understand, yes. I suppose I would have done something similarly. She was being held on the ground by two of those fucking bandits. I ran up and killed them both. I turned around and there was another 15 behind me. <laughs> Fifteen. There was at least fifteen. It was insane. Oh, they all sake. came at once, just out of fucking nowhere too. Uh, like it was, uh, oh yeah, they beat the shit out of us. Yes, but also. Um. So the tour goes back to the keep, and it was in this little courtyard area. Uh, stripped us down, basically took everything we had. My sword, my dagger, mm. the other things that I had on me, my money. Did you ever get it back? Nope. Fair enough. Didn't get everything though. Right. Um, Berater does kick Sarah around a bit because, you know, Sarah. Um, 
Understandable. Um. Yeah, not too much. Oh, they shot a bunch of crossbows at us. Crossbow bolts. Specifically at Sarah. <laughs> not trying to hit us. But, um. The fucking dumbass has left them there. The crossbow bolts in the sand and the grass. So we grabbed them and used it to cut our bindings off. Mm, Fell asleep, clever. woke up the next day, pocketed them. Um, the sergeant of the uh, Iron Wolves that was there did a bit of scouting, said he needed to take a shit. Really, he was looking for a weakness. He was uh, spent some time flirting with one of the bandits that was there. Convinced her to help us. Mm. And... Um, when everyone's back was looking, or everyone's back was to us, we slid out from underneath a wall into an empty courtyard, made our way through, killed a few more of the bandits, opened up the portcullis, and fucking ran. <laughs> Impressive. Honestly, surprised they haven't retaliated. I am too, but after everything, I'm glad they didn't. Apparently the guard sergeant was going to fucking <laughs> display the body of the the bandit on the fucking... Yes, he was we would have going died. to display the body. They would have killed us. Yes. <sighs> I guess I should tell you what happened in the dungeon. The one that got us all flogged. Yeah, I think that'd be... Prudent. Last night, uh, well, when the bandits were attacking, I managed to... Awen and I managed to corner one, and I tied one up, and we, uh, as a guard, took him down to the dungeon. And we were going to use him as a captive to have a, hopefully, uh, bargain for your guys' safety. Good day. Sorry, am I Good interrupting? Day. I can leave. No, it's fine. I was just telling the story of what happened, actually. You might have been able to explain it better than I. You were there for ah. some of it as well. Uh -huh. I was just uh, saying that... Yes. You're welcome to sit if you'd like. If you're not busy. I suppose. Oh, why not? <laughs> I'm gather up Are either of you uh, doing on the mission this evening? I signed up as a reserve not. slot, in case someone couldn't make it. I heard Vistiel was running it, and then I heard you were running it, but by the time I went, like, <coughs> it made sense I that I go on it, but by the time I got there today, I, there were slots were filled. I was so busy all day, which is a shame, but maybe uh, it's good for my leg. I don't know. Time to heal. Yeah, but if a slot opens up, mm. I assume I'll be told, and I'll just catch up, I suppose. Actually... I probably should make sure that everything's in order with that. I'll come join you later if you're not still here. Sure. Right, of course. Mm. Anyways. Uh, so we were going to use that bandit as a way to bargain for your guys' safe retrieval. Hopefully. At least that was Mirandol, uh and I's and Awen's and Tarek's plan. Mm -hmm. um, however, we were told that um, there were people in the dungeon questioning the bandit, and that we, Tarek was asked to uh, be there as well for some reason. I joined him, and when we got there, this bandit this man was hung up and bloodied all over he was mutilated he had his toes cut off blood spat in his face he was he was awful and i stood there and watched as Tarek questioned him and tortured him as well mm. as he continued to mutilate this already mutilated man that is already hopeless this man he lost all faith in the world you could see in his eyes he just he was gone 
And I stood there and what? I don't know why. Even now, I stood there and I, I didn't feel remorse. It wasn't until Risa actually came up to me and showed me a mark on this bandit, the mark of, according to Tarek, uh, an empire slave. Mm. Risa pointed to her mark and she had the same one. And that was when I actually finally had empathy for him. Stupid. So, they were going to leave him to hang and die slowly. It cauterized his wounds, so it would take him a long time to die. And I stabbed him in the neck to keep him from dying, or er, to keep him from dying a painful, slow death. Mirandol tried to kill him at first, but the sergeant stopped him, and while he was occupied, I went in and stabbed him. Apologies, I'm here, I'm here. It's good. Yes, Tarek didn't want me to. What can I get you, lads? Tarek wanted him to die slowly. Just give me, uh, just give me some of the good stuff. And when I left the prison, Tarek confronted me and asked me why I killed him. Why, naturally? Angrily. And I told him that he was the same as Risa. I saw Risa and him, and he said he is nothing like Risa. And I told him he is exactly like Risa. And when I told him that she is an Empire slave, he looked at her with not sympathy, but with disgust. Here to go. What do I owe you? I have no. Uh, for that, that's uh, twenty-five each. No remorse. There you go. Thank you. Everything that I've said for to said to him. You're not paying for me as well, are you? <laughs> Fuck off. You can pay for yourself. <laughs> the only thing I regret right, is nothing. Here you go. Puts it down the counter. Thank you. <sighs> Take it. That's no longer a thing then. Definitely so. Pretty nice mission we had there. <laughs> I am a monster for loving him, for okay, not stopping him, for Hopefully standing there and idly by as this man go. died. Just walked on our way home. Surviving along the way. Sometimes you can't help but fall in love with the monster, though. Uh, that's a good fortune there. So we are on the way. Sometimes right. you don't realize it until it's too late. It's exactly what happened, yes. I saw her earlier. I realized I had I didn't know how long what he was. I was watching from the Yeah, we should probably not be. I've known what he was. And yet, I still loved him. And it took me a long time to realize what he Really was. <laughs> Don't forget that Even though I knew all this time. They're counting the Mars and shit, having a good time. So. Uh, I don't think I am right. some saint. I think I'm worse because I Nicholas. actually. No, I don't sure. Sound good. Uh, well, Could we get two more strong drinks, please? Our one's, uh. That'd be good. But finished very quickly. <laughs> yes. You seem to be wanting to give him a second chance, though. Well, not a second chance, a third chance. <laughs> I don't know. A moment. I won't judge you for what you do, but. Uh, right. One more day, you see a Do you see anything? No, he said one moment. I should be scared. As long as I'm staying alive, what do I care? As long as I'm in and running, man. How much do I owe you? Thank you. 25, but considering that, uh, I myself have been going through a lot of this, uh, can write it off once more. You're a saint, Nicholas. Yeah, I just understand what people need to feel better. Are you sure you haven't, you sure you haven't had too much of that wine there? I'm an iron wall, I can add at least much. It would seem better days, huh? Say that, but last time you last few times you drank, you were on your ass after the first two pints. 
I don't know what you're talking about. My ass is and if you on this chair. Sorry. I was about to want to ground. hear my decision on Terek. Uh, I am curious. He this? turned in his room key. Oh, fucking hell. He's not staying here anymore. Fucking evening. Where is he staying? Uh, yeah, I'll probably walk around for a bit. We'll see. I drink. He doesn't have a home in Medford. <sighs> what, he will be sleeping in the trees? Oh, I'm gonna end up here because he was way too fast. I don't know for my place, but um, we'd probably after what he was saying. Understandable. I forgave the lad for what I heard about him. Took him in as one of my own, and he's disgraced the memories of those I've lost. I don't give a shit. It's jolly. A little bit too fast there. Isn't this? <sighs> More ale, I think. <clears throat> Starting to put pieces together. Hmm. Thank you. Fine, I guess I'll stop you, you dumbass. What do you mean, put pieces together? Finish the same The bandits that were there, I've uh, oh, interacted with them. before, very oh, closely. Right. They uh, were the ones that pushed me you out of the earlier. Yeah. Last night, yes. Yeah. Did you already skip mm. Um, but when I was captured by them, most of them seemed incredibly sloppy, complacent, not keen at all. Not like the people I interacted with. Some of them were though. So. I believe I might know the answer to that. I have a feeling. Ah. Uh. The slave that was a no thanks, bartender. The reason why I call him a slave, but he was a slave. Uh, he mentioned that the okay. captain of this crew, oh, okay. the oh, Cyclops or something, I don't know. The Cyclops, yes. He would, uh, he would buy slaves and then free them. He would buy them just to free them. And these slaves, I mean, of course, they're going to be happy that they are freed, and so they would usually work for him. That's what the bandit said, at least. He said not all slaves are from the Empire, some of them are from all over. It's understandable they would be sloppy, the slaves are not trained bandits like the ones that you have apparently been familiar with. These dread knives were something else, though, to see them this diluted, I Are they guess. all dread knives? Or well, are they dread knives with other slaves? That group I guess diluted was the is dread the knives. Term, yes. yes, they've been, um... They've had, like, the slaves kind of mixed in there. You could see it. Some of them just... have never done this before. Hell, one of them hadn't even held a crossbow before. Um, That's the one that helped us. You said it's strange to see them so diluted, though, almost as if it's sad to see them that way. No, no, it's just... Yeah, back in Gradia, they were different. I mean, they would break into houses, kill everyone in there, women, children, mm. everyone, just for a chance at some gold. They were efficient, That's... quick. You wouldn't even hear them coming. It was... terrifying. And to see them like this, is it's, I was confused. I didn't understand why, I mean... I mean, it honestly sounds like this leader of theirs, Cyclops, he's... <sighs> in all terms, in... I don't even know what the mean of good and bad are anymore. I think it's so skewed in the person that I am the beholder, but... He seemed in my eyes relatively decent if that's the case um he he's very imposing uh, fair enough i haven't seen him but uh green slaves it's it's not a bad thing 
I understand what they do, you know, are you serving? villages and what. <sighs> Is I can get it for you, Kat. anyone at the bar? <sighs> Thank you, Kat. And I get uh, more for us, too, because this is a sad conversation. Perfect. Right. What do you need with steel? <laughs> um, I don't, I don't know, like wine, if you have a bottle, would be nice. Okay. Cheap or good? Ah, uh, good. Yeah, that's 25. Oh. I have coin now, I can do, I can, I can do good wine. How much is ale around here? I, right I need nice something to <laughs> Like I just work here. Yeah, Thank you. <laughs> you work here now, do you? Well, I don't work here. <laughs> uh, I believe Ale's 12. 12, cat. How much is Ale? Can you make it uh, 6, maybe? Uh, we could dilute it. You know, I just got up the... We're gonna sit in the mix corner it with water. it's alright whenever you're ready. Sure. What do you need? Oh, come on. Like, um, I, I I'm not gonna barter with you. And drinks for everyone. Got it. How many of you? Four. Five. What do you get four, oh, mate? One, two, three, four. And I eat twice. <laughs> Got it. Oh, Five. <laughs> one plate of food or a plate of food for everyone? Uh, one plate of food, drinks for everyone. Okay. Like one of those or water, though. Got it. Or two? I drive away. I just want to try it. Right then. Alright. That works. Just get an ale. Okay. Me, please. A strong one? Please, Hi. Okay. You go ahead and sit next to me. Elathians are grown on hey. wine before milk. Here are you. I have no exceptions, but my facial. This one. That's okay. It's 12. <laughs> There you are. Yeah. Oh, that's better. Much better. Oh, that all works. Right. That's it. All right, water. <sighs> nice soup. Okay. Nice. It's one ale. Thank you. Greetings. Yeah. You go ahead. You take that large. Hmm? It's oh, fair, oh, why yeah. are you taking a so, rail? <laughs> I was gonna say, I thought you were gonna two water. I am from Halo. No, no, no. I think he only ordered one. Nah, sorry. The <laughs> ale. What? Skolas? Skolas. Thank you, thank it's you. Skolas ate us. Good time I've been here. So do you. That's what they call a halfling. That's pretty good, actually. Now, do you actually not drink, or was that an excuse? I'm the rarest, I guess. Being from Halo. Hi. No, I hate you drink. Uh, have <laughs> had friends who. My name is. Drink. Katrina. Cat a shot. It's one ale, won't kill you. Yeah. You might find you like it. If you don't, yeah. you'll never My get it again. My me at age 26. She'd be about alive. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm sorry, mother. Apologies for the lack of. Friendly service. It's been a day. Takes me back. So I have heard. <sighs> Alright, I shot him. Nicholas. Thank you, by the way. Oh, Appreciate yeah, you doing you that. Know. Well, when I went up there, there was only one person wanting something. I didn't realize we were gonna oh, get hit with a uh, happy hour. <laughs> Fair enough. Yes, Thank you. See you decline as well over there. So <laughs> Look down on me. Desk is a... the food's a lot better. Do you yeah. want me to call you a monster then? Mm. Tell you what you ordered and you <laughs> So much. Would you though a monster and we start like to this? assume? A lot of monsters and I feel food. terrible about that or not. Well, That's true. Yeah, I swear that one. Give it a rest now. You might so you don't so you don't uh do so too strange. Much, huh? mm. Twenty four hours ago I, I thought the or monsters were the ones in the castles. Not the ones in my bed. <laughs> All the ones sharing a drink mm. with Winter's gonna Of course. It's getting cold. You're not a monster. You don't know that. <laughs> I've done a lot of things, Kat. True, I don't. 
Yeah, I guess we're welcome. all monsters. Mm -hmm. That's the moral of the story. It was quite ah. a fucking day out there, let me tell you. <laughs> oh, yeah. How'd it go, that mean I need to forgive him. How'd it go? If I'm just as much of a monster. How the fuck did it go? Well, first of all, <laughs> or if I can't even forgive myself, does that mean that I can't forgive him? Some of these people him? crazy, shooting crossbow bolts next to us. How does that work? Stupid I like idiots. the idea of not Never forgiving him. I don't want to bolts. forgive him. It's okay to be angry. You're allowed to have feelings. Somebody else slipped me one. They helped me undo my bindings. Take a lot for him to be in my good graces again. Then, but make no mistake, oh yeah, I will I never make the mistake of loving him again. As much as I could. That punch is clear. That I had to, you know, so that's it. Cat and so uh, Tarek is all done and dusted then. Take me away, either to piss off the wall yes, or somewhere ship else. Has sailed. Or these <sighs> the ship things. has sailed. <laughs> <laughs> so I got to see all the different parts of the walls and like where the gate mechanisms were and stuff. But, uh, you were so full of shit. I. Anyone could have oh. seen right through you if you had a brain. I'm not one to. <laughs> okay, well, I don't. As a kid, I, I always grew up just so thinking the nobles were just they don't even these silver spooned stick up their three. ass, three. fucking three times you were snobs. Sure. Three times. And somehow and I find myself thing. sleeping change, with I one. I just uh, well, what well, went wrong? What did I? Shit, what was I thinking? I wanted a taste of the silver spoon. <laughs> well, to be fair, Stupid, that's what it is. Like a, like a well, night. everyone has phases, cat. <sighs> Sometimes you just gone to do that when swinging your sword doesn't work. But this crazy bastard <sighs> over there, the purple one. I'll consider that. Move silently as all can be. Yeah, when we were on our way out, I kept having to look behind me because I didn't know where the fuck he was. Bastards, clients can be. Meanwhile, that Gradim fool, whatever his name was, uh, Jack, I think, kept yeah, stepping Jack, on the back of my fucking heels while we're trying to sneak up this tower. <laughs> his big fat feet <laughs> stepping on the back. Be spot. nice to him. <laughs> Listen, he's good people, I like him, but he just oh, fucking yeah. stepped all over me. How do you step on both of the back of my feet at I the same time? He must have <laughs> jumped. <laughs> Sorry. Do you just spit that? Oh, <laughs> spit that wine all over the table. It was on the table. Yeah, I to go take a step, wound up standing straight out like a mannequin, almost bent over an eighth corner of a stone oh stair. Oh my god. Was he doing? Wearing quad hoppers, and they're just basically just clawing his heels to try and reach you. That's good wine, cat. Really talked about this I didn't know. Earlier. I didn't so the bottom of his shoes had fucking blame it on him for being so, every time they went up so stone good at heading stories. Like, sure. He's definitely doing it a lot better than I did. <laughs> yes, you've never mentioned all this. It sounded so sad. It's in a somber mood. The alcohol is definitely helping that. Definitely. Always I'm helps. Feeling this. But Jeez. that's like, I'm, I'm, fucking I'm skipping snackered. ahead. There was a whole I had alcohol earlier as well. I thought I'd be slick. Snackered. Snackered? What is snackered? Yes. I also just. I don't know. It's, um. And, uh, have you heard, the, heard of the word. Heard of the word. Snack. 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 Have you heard of the word snack? A snack, yes. Yes. And so it's like, um. I don't know how that relates to it at all, it just sounds work. like it. I I could try and I'm me not a me fucking wordsmith. No, I've, I've failed. Do I look like a scribe to you? Oh, alright. I just rolled a two, so I'm done. I'm done. I'm just fucking pass out. Chat, roll a d20. He's just covered in blood. Her story. Her business to tell, obviously. Is your constitution? Oh, about like a 13. I'm cruising, alright. Better fix it. Either way, <laughs> just drink from the bottle at this I'm rate. This Ooh, you're right, actually. We 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 were sharing a bottle, and now we've just kind of got our own bottles. That's true, actually. You're right. I knew it wasn't crossbows you worked on. Best thing to do after getting kidnapped and flogged. Oh, uh, well, okay. Get all about it. What was the deal with you guys rolling up those fucking <laughs> barrels of ale? Okay, so to be fair, Lirindol, Awen, 
I and Tarek had a brilliant idea. Okay. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. That we would um, roll up barrels of ale that wasn't poisoned or anything. They were just simply barrels of ale. I consider them poisoning them. Uh -huh. But they were just barrels of ale. And they, um, uh, it was an attempt for them to get it and get drunk on that. So that in the morning, early morning, while they are hungover, certain passed out. We would steal, uh, Keep. Bandit uniforms off of the corpses of the ones that were left in the town. No, Dress up as them no, and stumble in, you know, unnoticed. And, uh, so because everyone's drunk, you know, we just fucking went on some kind of, I don't know, wood orgy or whatever the fuck. Um, and so we come back into the whatever place and, uh, you know, get you guys and somehow get the fuck out of there. I think you, actually the other, the original plan was to get in there. Right get here, the no palisade round, could we open and then we were going to try to see if we could get the iron wolves you know what? Give us on our side because the captain was there and so we were going to see right. see if we could get the iron wolves to go and attack after we get the palisade open and then while there's all this commotion we get you guys out of there well, that was the plan okay it was a brilliant plan here's Maybe how the plan it, here's how the plan went down <laughs> You guys rolled up the barrels. Yes, I do. They took them into the place. They said these are probably poisoned. Let's make them drink it. So they made us so drink the I'm glad you didn't poison them. Did they drink any of it? Uh -huh. I put myself they drink any of it? down as a reserve. Uh, so if someone drops out, I'll be there, and I'll be square. Oh, have a blast. I hope your back feels better. Maybe the mind will help. Terio, <laughs> tell me all about it. I'll drink for you. I'm kind of jealous. This is kind of my thing. Like, uh, caves and stuff. Caves, yes. I, I'm honestly surprised you aren't able to go. Well, I mean, hopefully you're, you know, able to go. I don't know. It might be better because my, my legs fucked up. So, like, I'm kind of like... That's fair. You know? Who knows, maybe Awen will kick the bucket because it's fucking back. <sighs> also, he was complaining non-stop about his face. I mean, if I had a face like that, I'd complain about it too, let's be honest. Oh god, you have a point. I think I remember vaguely, actually, the other day. I think I was high off my ass. I remember vaguely going up to him and telling him out of nowhere that I would never fuck him, but if I did, I totally would. Fuck him. Wait, no, I totally. No, I said no. No, I said no. no I said I totally would fuck him, but I would regret it in the morning. That's what I said. Yes. Um, fair enough. You said a lot of things when you were high off your fucking tits, cat. What else happened? Oh, I remember. Probably for the best. We really smacked the shit out of you. No, I do remember that. that... I needed... You're lucky Bela was there. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. I really am sorry about that. It was growling at you at the time as well. Yeah. And they said he was going to eat you. What is it like? Dude, that sounds like some kind of sexual thing. Well, he's the one that wanted to whip his cock out. They're like, make sure you don't eat it. And I was like, fucking eat me. You eat people. He never answered, he just growled. I was like, really? This is all true. Have you heard of the term vol? Well, no, what's for? I'm interested, though. What is vol? What is vol? Well, it is um the sexualization of eating someone. I'm no longer interested. Are you into that? Is that a thing? No, gods, no. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a term. Like a reassuring... But uh, I'm like, makes me wonder if this animal person, that's the name, is into that. I just think he's fucking weird. I mean, I think someone who <laughs> is into vol would be weird. Hey, don't kink shame. I'm sure there are things you're into that are weird too, so don't go all getting all high and mighty. Fair enough. It felt so absolutely fine. So if you're not into Vol, 
What are you into? Uh, Sadistic uh, torture uh, from a purple uh, lady. Um. Uh, no. Kind of roll with things. See whatever happens. Whatever happens, happens. Not in anything too intense. I don't know. I haven't really thought too much about it. It's always been very, like, not romantic. I don't, there's only been one person I've been romantic with, and that went really weird. Um, Ooh, tell me about it. Tell you about it? What happened? It's a sad story, yes. Cap. Well, we've been having sad stories all night. Why not continue it? Ah, oh, well, <clears throat> after my mother was raped and murdered, I uh, ended up on the streets. Right. <laughs> yeah, good start. Send mind. Without the rape, both my parents were murdered and I ended up on the street. But regardless, I love it already. Continue. I mean, not in a good way. Sorry. Wow, I mean, thanks, cat. Fucking bitch. That's not what I meant. <sighs> Sorry, this alcohol is really getting to me. Um, I, did, I didn't mean I. I... <sighs> But it's true, <clears throat> Tyler. Tell them it's true. They don't believe me. What? Tell them how a man named the animal squeezed my dog. It was a squeeze and twist, I think. I mean, I was pretty far away, but I could see. Like. I couldn't put it back behind the plate. I was tied up. To be fair, you did piss on him. Could you please, like, tuck it back in? I did. I did piss off him. He did. I, he did. 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 Wait. Okay, well he twisted his dick. We get another round, shall I? Some people into that, you know. But yes, anyway, continue with story. Apologies. Okay, do you want me to get more drinks? Or are we good? Because, like... Uh, what about you? I'm, I'm down to keep going. I have things inside me that need to die. I've just got a three after the two, but yes, let's keep going. Chat roll at I'm going to pass out tonight. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Alright. I was sitting with the other captives, alright? But after fucking Captain Cock Squeezer walked away, we said, They always are kind of like. Walking on top of every problem or something like that. Too strong ass, please. Sorry. No offense. <laughs> What'd you say? Oh, I used saying that the point to hear people kind of like are like... Talking like they are above everybody or something like that. Oh, I know where I am. I'm well beneath the dirt. You and me, we're... we're... Like brothers in arms, stump here. By this one guy, talk so Thank much, you. Really yeah, we slam uh, people with whatever we Hassim, had to Hassim, <laughs> Hassim, uh, cat. Seemed all right. Mm. Hassim, right. Seemed okay. Mm. Uh, gave him a silver out of my boot, which I always keep a silver in my boot for whenever I'm taking. Oh, sorry, off. I'm having a moment. Okay, I didn't know if you were it's a, it's the actually alcohol. there or. <laughs> It's the alcohol. It's the bitsy alcohol. Also, I like the aesthetic of having the empty bottles on the table. I might go get them again. Oh, if you want to pay for them. No, you didn't clean the ocean or anything. Um, just in the bed. Well, we really keep all the empty bottles. Okay, fine. We wash and refill. I mean, I was trying to convince you to on the table. buy me more drinks, but I guess that's fine. I can buy you more drinks if you want. I'll just take it out of my head check. Hold on, let me go again. <clears throat> nothing really. They were keeping really good security, but the security was so good it made me fucking antsy, and I didn't like it. So I wanted to try and go and take a shit somewhere else. So I wanted to have like three bandits staring at me. 
<laughs> Two right next to me and one with a crossbow I... all the way on the other side uh... of the castle, just staring in my direction all the time. Said... Put off a tool. Is that you? Really and a leg. To start doing that, but <laughs> well, and right. out and I. I didn't That's know. It was, <laughs> it was somebody over there. All right. Is Either way. No, complete. No. Once that was done, I realized that means. Use me wine. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. Fuck yes. What kind of question is that, Dompe? A third. Yeah, a third of the bottle. The bastards. It's a big ass bottle. Holy fuck! Well, this stuff is very po- all right. Okay. Woo! -hoo -hoo. If there was any question of whether or not we were passing out, this is not the question anymore. Like fancy wine. Those are all. It's very. It's the, the fanciest the stuff. Oh my god, Dumpy! Thank you very much. You are sixty copper. Wow. You use it to ruin the steel stress. We crawled through the hole as quick as we could. Worth every copper. All right. Fantastic. Thank you, Dolphin. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have a good night. Then that fat-footed, <coughs> grotty fuck stepped on my feet. Well, so I have turned back and been captured, and we're going to interrogate. Sergeant brings me down and add that to our pile of aestheticness. Aesthetic. We'll do that later. Anyways. Anyways. Cheers. I want to hear the rest of the story. Oh, about how the love of my life betrayed me? Ah, oh, yes. Do tell. 100% only telling you this because I'm quite fucking drunk right now. Perfect. Anyway, so. Dad left before I was born. Prick. Mother murdered, killed in the alley. Um, then I, because I couldn't pay for the house. I've done my job. Guess I'll just stay. Um, like, you fucking crazy. You're coming with us. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Anyway, yeah, so I couldn't pay for the house. <laughs> so I ended up on the streets. <laughs> ended up on the streets um, by myself. I mean, I'd spent a lot of my time doing, like, street kid stuff, you know? But, uh, yeah. Yes, I'm well aware of that. <laughs> well, what do you mean? What does that mean? I'll take... I, I grew up on the streets as well. Okay. All right, I thought you were judging me. No. Okay, so... Um, <laughs> anyway, so a group of friends that I was hanging out with who were also on the streets were like, hey, that's really cool. Hey, hey Kyla, I noticed you're like really sneaky and you're really good at like mm -hmm. stuff with your fingies. Wink. Where'd you go? Stuff with your fingies, wink. Oh, there we go. Sorry, the yeah. drunkenness again. Um, oh. Also, what the fuck? Are you doing... Uh... Is that judo? It's, um, yes. Have you had a Pilates? I have, actually. Anyways. Lovely. Um, anyways. Every one of my friends back on me when I was Anyways. There's no point me. <sighs> I don't even know what to say right now. Alright, Alright, no, wait, no. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> They're called Pilates. <clears throat> Alright, anyways. Yes. Continue. Anyways, so they're like, you're really good, you're really good with like, hey, it's sneaking around and you're really good with your fingers, like you're really dexterous, Kyler. And I was like, yeah, you know what, I am. Hey, you're really right. good at like sneaking around and all. Anyway, a group of us formed like a little, a little, a little friend group, okay? And like, how do you survive on the streets? Oh, yeah, when you don't have like, you have like, don't have like a, a job or anything, and you steal. Mm -hmm. Petty crime and stuff like ah, that, right? Yes. So course, we're, we're on the streets of Gradia and we're stealing, we're doing petty crime and stuff like that, and we get really fucking good at it. Like, really, really good. Most of it's down to me, but this fucking asshole called Welsh kept kind of trying to, like, challenge me. Cause I knew what was happening, but he didn't, and he was kind of like, we always need to go for, like, a bigger score. Anyway, one day, mm -hmm. shit, and I, oh, there's another, there's a, sorry, the, the important part, I'm missing out. Girl there, name of Ayla, and she was mm, Chef's Kiss. Mm. Um, she was mwah. she was mwah, she was great, and a she very and I, hot girl. Yes, okay. Mm, and then she and I eventually, um, you know, uh, to put it bluntly, fell in love. You know, we kind of we watched each other's backs, and you know, we 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 got really close. 
Uh, fast forward a couple years, we're getting really good at what we're doing, uh, like really fucking good. Unfortunately, we get so good, we take notice of the Dread Knives, who kind of had control over that area. We started uh, threatening them with our stuff, with how good we were. And uh, <clears throat> basically, my friends made a deal with the Dread Knives to sell me out, uh, so that they could live. And the main person behind it, take a guess, fucking Ayla. Anyway, as I'm running for my life, she takes out a crossbow and pfft, right in the back of my shoulder. I fell into the docks and was washed ashore later. And I left Gradio after that. They think I'm dead, probably. Understandable. I wouldn't want to live there anyways, after all that. No. Did you ever find out? Why he sold you out? That's right, yeah, Save their own like skins, I assume. It's so hard. You have to no one are amongst thieves, cat. I just made the mistake of uh, falling in love with someone, I guess. <laughs> I understand the mistake. <sighs> Currently regretting it. True love, that's what I say. <sighs> yeah, I fear that. You haven't been with a girl since. In the end. <laughs> you, bet I am, you haven't, not even some of it. Nope. <clears throat> I'm surprised. Are you? You seem Street to be all over you. <laughs> yes. You guys seem to be... I don't know. <laughs> together a lot, I think. Like really I, I don't think, think she wants me. You still they don't believe nah? that I got my cock squeezed by the animal. Would you guys just <laughs> let this man I tell you the truth? It's probably still got rope burn on it or something. <laughs> anyway, what were we saying? Uh, I was just saying that I honestly thought that you and Sarah were a thing, just considering you two were always together. But you said you don't think she wants you, why is that? That's him. Um... I think she wants something from me that I, I'm not sure if I'm ready for. What's that? For you to be all drowy? Yeah, servitude. She seems to be teaching you a lot of drow stuff. Servitude? Wait, what? In drow culture, men are um, the, the sub, I suppose, the females are the dominant. And uh, she expects me Why to. Why is it there's always has to be a sub gender? Why can they not just be equal? Uh, I, I'm fine with equal, right. but I, I, I don't know. Um, and she just, I don't know. I, um, I'm also not. Um, don't worry about it. it. Looks like they help them out. Hey, here you go. Pure blood. Not what? Thank you. She took all of my what do you mean? You're, you're drunk, aren't you? What do you want to do as a man with two drunk women? My father's side. Uh, Mother was a human. <laughs> That's why I'm struggling so much with everything I'm being taught because I, I, I don't fucking understand it, and I don't understand these feelings that I have, and no one's helping me understand them. <clears throat> The feelings what, of being a drow or being a human? Both. I don't know what I'm supposed to be. I don't have a home, I don't belong anywhere. Well, why do you have to, you know... Why do you have to be decidedly anything? Like, why can't you just be Tyler? Why can't your home be wherever you decide it to be? So I see it. I thought about that, I just, I don't know. Oh, yes, it is. I it's hard. Understandable. I spent my whole life looking to fill this empty piece in my heart that I assume is because I don't understand drow stuff. Because I've... Sarah's like the only other drow I've really met. And yeah, they're pretty rare. It's very confrontational, and I. I don't know. If I were to go down that path, I'd have to redesign everything. What? I mean, redesign everything. I everything you are? Yeah, I'm relearning my whole culture. What I'm supposed Why to be. 
Why would you do that? Why would you ever? I think a suggestion. Why would you ever follow the path of what you're supposed to be? Why don't just follow the path? I don't know what I want to be. You. I'm so fucking confused and lost with everything, cat. That's fair. I understand that completely. I actually was having that same existential crisis several weeks ago. Are you half draw? No, I was just more confused about what I wanted to be and what my place was in this world. But yep. didn't have the problems with the half draw for apologies. So. Yeah, keep it on the down low. A lot of people don't look too kindly on half breeds. I won't say a word. It's alright. I won't say a word, I promise. It is curious, though. Sorry to uh, interrupt. Hey! No worries. And before you explode at me, do you have an open room? Uh, yes, we, we should have some. Uh, down the hallway there's, um, yeah, I'd say that, pick one that's unlocked, to be alright. And the hole on the right. Is it a what do you think? You never said you had a How name. much? Do you have names? <laughs> you oh, how much is it again? I got a fucking name. I don't remember how Name's much Eric. it is. Fuck. Ah. Uh, right, ah, cool. Here's a silver. Oh, oh God. Uh, Listen. Elric. I know it's a weird noise. Right. <clears throat> hey, he goes Elric. over. Mm. All right. Yes, I think it's time for you to go back to the I always struggle with the charging bar. Right. Usually have they do that. Can't count very high. Bye, Elric. But... Sarah actually yelled at me the other day. I just remember. I was being a snarky piece of shit. I was grumpy. I was tired. I was confused. She's always a snarky piece of shit. I <laughs> Why is she getting mad at you about that? Shit. I know, it's so she's getting mad at you when she's always a snarky grumpy piece of shit. She's a little rough around the edges, but... Fair enough. I think there's Seems more going on there than she's letting on. I think she's just trying to stay prickly on the outside so that people don't see what's on the inside. I can understand that. Absolutely. Okay. I had a Fine realization with her. Mm. I'm not a fucking <laughs> captain. I'm a son. We used to be. <laughs> Blake. Oh, it's so funny to see you get mad. Blazing captain. We name him. Blazing. Is he gonna? Looks like man's gonna have a threesome. He's just dropping them off and then he's gonna. Yeah, leave. sure he is, Lucian. Sure he is. Hmm, sure. Pretty sure that's the exact same room that a fivesome happened with a couple of weeks ago. I was invited to a foursome. No, it was this five. fucking town they is insane. Type on me in there too. Everyone's horny all the fucking time. It's accurate to medieval times, I guess. I mean, what? Anyways, um... <laughs> There's nothing else to do. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to go Kind of no Netflix, oh, no drink. fucking. <laughs> There's nothing. No fucking smartphones, God forbid. Nowadays we just pull just up drink. fucking Twitter on our phones, but fuck. no fucking medieval days. Well, I'm bored. Want to fuck? Well. <laughs> anyway. Well, that is incredibly accurate. Anyways, um, right. Um, yes. Uh, Sarah and I, when I first met her, we were quite at odds. Really. I don't even. Uh, do you remember, do you remember that? I, I mean, you're, you're probably not surprised. Yeah, my ears, I believe, are still fucking ringing from you two screaming at each other. Like at least one of those times. Yes. Yes. Um. But there was one time in specific where we got very feisty, physical, actually. Um, and I went back to the tavern, and she. God, that was fast. Yeah, that was quick, Blaze. Um, Quick for what? Nothing. Nothing? I'm not going to go ahead and uh, have my way with two women who are too drunk to say yes or no. Good man. 
something. You're a true Instead, hero. Instead, I leave them together to figure out if they're lesbians. Then I come back in the morning and see if they've got room for a third. Good man! There it is! I was waiting for it. There it is. Uh, by, by the way... <laughs> jokes aside... Uh... <clears throat> Will you be staying in the tavern at all? Uh, I don't know, maybe. Like, like overnight. Yeah, I've turned in his room key, so you, it's probably an open room if you want it. We'll see. Well, just cause I... <clears throat> Actually, you know what? I want to rent out a table to sleep, that's alright? Absolutely. You concerned about, uh... Not to make regular visits. Maybe playing an all-nighter in the smithy. Well, after recently learning that there's... some monstrous fucking people in Ledford, I can't rightly leave one of them here alone. Hmm. Unless they get torn up. So... <clears throat> right. I will sleep... right here. Have a good night. We'll keep our voices <clears throat> down. No, it's alright. Hmm. Loud noises don't bother me. Ah! Uh, the lads bring their women back to the barracks. Try sleeping mm. through that. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I do. I have to sleep through Faye and Lucy and all the time. Oh, shut it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so fucking horny. <laughs> I just wanted to sleep last night. You see these fucking wounds? Oh, my god, did she do you those? See these fucking wounds? I just wanted to I'm fucking sleep. I'm a bit sleep. of a time sleeping <laughs> on my back for a while. I'm gonna have to sleep on my fucking stomach or something. Oh, sleep. no, no. Ugh. <clears throat> Thankfully not. So do you realize how difficult it is to do my job now if I have scars on my back? I'm always gonna have to do the job now. scars on your back? I thought you were the one who's supposed to be leaving scars on people's backs. Isn't that the I woman so leaving? I thought so too, but I got flogged today. Flogged? It's very difficult thought. to lay on my back. Because I, <clears throat> I didn't do anything to stop the torture of a man who was innocent. I did, however, kill him. Oh. From what I ever heard, she was one of the only ones being merciful about it. They were going to let but him bleed out and die or not. Lashes. Yes, I got 20 lashes, but I am not innocent in the slightest. I stood there and watched. This poor man was on his deathbed. He was praying to whatever gods he believed in. To let him die. And I just sat <clears> there and watched. <throat> it took Risa showing me that he was the same as her for me to have any amount of sympathy. And I cannot even believe that I was. And you really yeah. killed the fucking mood, huh? <laughs> I'd say you probably were no different. I'm absolutely no different. I'm just as much of a monster as the ones who tortured him. I'm not gonna argue with that. But most of the people there with the Cyclops are uh, escaped slaves. There's about four or six of them that the rest are fearful of. Something mm. knives or something of the sort. Dread, Dread knives. knives. Whenever they came around, everyone got quiet. I, I saw one. Hmm. Whenever they came by, everyone else got quiet. Mm. They, uh,. You can always tell which fucker was with them, because they literally had bandoliers full of fucking knives. They were always standing on top of the walls when they were bored, throwing them at fucking... ...different marks on the walls across. Never fucking missed, so that's terrifying. Glad I wear plates. Fuck, god damn. But, uh... Well, if you ever need any of that looked at, feel free to drop by the smithy. I already helped out one of your men with, uh... ...loose glove. I only have two because now I have matching fucking holes from crossbow bolts on each side of my plate. Because when we were leaving, if you were wondering why I fell behind, it wasn't the plate, it was the fucking hole from the crossbow bolt. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yep. That was fun. I can see what I can do when you're ready. Ah. Crossbows are a bitch. That they are. They really are. God. Otherwise. We actually treated quite well there. The first That's day they were a bit aggressive. But I think they were just excited and hungry and we were a payday. <laughs> but then once uh, 
those knives or whoever the fuck uh, dread knives started cracking down things were much different mm. but mm. never got beat never got well <laughs> you did <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's when you were captured you, sh you tried to leave that's all on you You're not supposed to get caught when you try to leave <laughs> but, uh, we had food water all that a shitload of ale <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, plenty to drink. <laughs> I yeah, thought about poisoning it. it. Some, I'm some glad I fucking didn't. idiots left the ale out in front. Don't know how or why. And these that guys just brought us. it in and said, Oh, good, more stuff to sell. We had a grand a they didn't idea. They actually drink themselves drunk, did they? No, so they made us, they made us drink it to make sure it wasn't poison. <laughs> <laughs> right. We were and gonna do a Trojan they let horse us keep thing, drinking, which was pretty nice. That was great. That was Awen's idea. They were gonna have me what stuffed into one of the barrels that stuck, that nonsense right for some there. reason. Stuff yourselves in the barrels. Well, then you would have wound up in the same <laughs> fucking courtyard with us. Right. That was Awen's plan. Like fucking Thankfully, Mirandol, the scribe, the smarter of the two dipshits, I uh, <laughs> decided against that and just to give them ale to get drunk and hungover so we could sneak in there and bandit you. Even though I could have told you that. We were that trying to get the, the Iron Wolves to help us out, but I don't no, know. No, they wouldn't that, do that. Fair enough. See you then. No. First of all, there's only 12 of us in Ledburn. Actually, another like oh. 10 just showed up and I don't know why. Oh, wow. But, uh. Hmm. Really? Yeah. Escorting some, um. Weird. Northman? I don't know. He's he's from Aloth, but he's a fucking elf. Hmm. So I, I don't know what to call him. Was it that building hey, familiar? Knife ears works pretty nice well. Nice one. Skullass, I think he calls uh, himself. Right, what the him. fuck, mate? Self-deprecation, man. Yeah, I can say it because I have oh. knife ears. Oh, we're doing that, are <laughs> we? Yeah, it's my word, not yours. <laughs> <laughs> for sake. <clears throat> not yeah, out of my <laughs> Fuck you. My word, not yours. Say what? <laughs> it's your job. It's just your job description. Thank you. So, uh. Huh. Oh. Right. Are you drunk? What? No. Buzzed. No. No, I was just thinking something over, but I came to a different conclusion rather than ask. So. Oh, you have to ask now. No, no, you hmm? do actually have to ask now. You can't just say that you're going to ask something and decided not contractually to. Contractually obligated. You have to, you have to ask now. Mm -hmm. Right. It's okay, no one will judge. Okay. Well, I'm not worried about being judged. If I was worried about being judged, I wouldn't have had my cock squeezed and a bandit strong. But... <laughs> you didn't choose to do it. <laughs> No, but I chose to let it keep happening. Establish my dominance. <laughs> you did make eye contact with him for a very long time. <sighs> that is I want to tell you, though, that a man named The Animal, who was growling and squeezing my cock, I stared him down. He was the first to look away and let go. <laughs> that is dominance at its finest. Which the power play made me look kind of gay because then I got kind of, you know, aroused from my hey, victory. Whatever floats your boat. So everyone just saw. Well, that kind of sunk it. I don't really get off the men called the animal. <laughs> In fact, I think it crashed on the shore and all hands were lost as it fucking flipped over and sunk. But, uh. It's unfortunate. So, I just want to say... I've had two crossbow bolts hit me in two days. Yep. I was taken prisoner for saving somebody, which I don't regret. Yep. I had the shit kicked out of me, and I was stabbed at several times when I was captured. Yep. Had some freaky fucking bastard called the animal that absolutely <laughs> molest me. Yep. <laughs> I was never allowed to be alone when I had to piss your shit. Yep. And now, after all that, I got two nice people completely trashed, and now I'm sleeping outside on the table. <laughs> it's been a shit day. Welcome Cheers to Ledford. That, <laughs> it's a shithole. Do you know, my second day of being up here. Are you fucking anyone tonight? What'd you say? Are you fucking anyone tonight? Am I fucking anyone tonight? Likely not, I can't even lay on my back. 
Well, you can lay on your stomach. I'll do all the work. <laughs> <laughs> Will you pay for it? I guess you already technically did. You paid extra for those drinks. That is true, I rooms. did. Well, consider it... Pity fuck, got it. That works for me. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say that at all, actually. I was gonna say consider it an upgrade from your bench, but sure. If you want to consider it a pity fuck, that's Wait, pity. we can't do it on the bench. That's after fun. I mean... Okay. I'd have to shut down the tavern unless you're into that. No, never mind. I'd like a bed after sleeping on the fucking ground. <clears throat> I assume so. Of a lodge bed. Well, considering I've had way too much to drink and I have rolled a two and a three, I am definitely probably going to black out shortly, so I will join For you. For fuck's sake! <laughs> She's gonna dead fish you. <laughs> She's just gonna... <laughs> You know what? Don't don't care. Just show me to the fucking room. I'll do all the work. <laughs> I don't even you. need you breathing at this point. I just this need to forget my day. Holy fuck you. Yeah. Honestly, I think this is a perfect ending to a terrible day. I get shit-faced. I do exactly <clears throat> the job I need to do. And I hate love. Cheers. Ch cheerio. Good night, Kyla. It was a good talk. Good night, um, cat. Come here, handsome man. Enjoy your time with the uh, <laughs> the survivor of the animal. <laughs> I would like to burn that out of my memory. Just close your eyes and imagine him. dreams get replaced with my wrist being swirled around blonde hair. Thank you very much. Oh hell. All right, well, I should also retire, too, and I don't think either of you are going to fuck me, so I guess I'll go fuck myself. Anyway. Hey, <laughs> 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 okay, I don't judge. I didn't think you'd roll that way. I don't, but you've got long hair. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Good night, boys. <laughs> A bartender? Fucking hell. No, she's up there fucking a sergeant. Alright. I don't know if he would have done it, guys, in all honesty.